Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Yes, welcome back. Oh, car. Uh, so, uh, Chloe, do you have anything to say about uh, car getting caught and sent to the camps? Hmm. Nope. Okay. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Please. Androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Please! Please? Over here, please? Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. That's ridiculous. Please. That's absurd. Please. God, you're stupid. Madam, <laughs> Madam, is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please! What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please! Wow, that was, uh... One, one two, three... Please! Four different things I picked and we're still going. Madam President! I don't recall ever getting a fifth option Madam President. before. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Thank you. That will be all. That was weird. I was pretty sure I only ever got to pick four every other time. I wonder why I got five. Maybe because her answer for the first two was so short. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Do things a little differently here to get some new stuff unlocked. Go ahead. Obviously don't want this to be a carbon copy of the last run. Or at least the last time I got here. Interesting barricade design. Although, wouldn't it be easier to just have one big barrier instead of a bunch of small ones? Easier and more effective? So, someone uh, check future calendars to see if there's going to be a full moon on November 11th, 2038. the spotlight from that drone okay. trailing behind it instead of looking you. ahead. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Was that the voice of the android I was trying to interrogate in the kitchen at Stratford Tower? It sounded awfully similar. Agent 23 identified. I never played the Hitman series before, so that reference is lost on me. Odd that they would build this giant statue in the shape of a poorly rendered hexagon shaped model instead of like an actual smoothly shaped human being.
but hey, art is art. Did I convert any of these? That Asian guy back there was the same one in Zlatko's bathtub. Access authorized. Why did these guys get different helmets? Before th floor 31. Reconstructed a little more than that. Thank God the one immediately after that was another fucking circle. Uh, shouldn't the guard have been on the floor behind you? Yes, he very much should have been. Your and, and now to intentionally do something stupid for the sake of filling the flow chart. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice of RK 800 model recognized. You are not authorized to use this elevator. Please contact human personnel to be redirected. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. That is such a stupid security measure when androids are fully capable of replicating other voices. Finally get sent to the camps! After what, six, seven runs? Why are you guys Why muttering you to yourselves? This? Oh yeah, I gotta worry about her goddamn stress level, or she'll get herself shot. Come on, get out! Get a move on! Out! I love the Star Trek uniforms. It's so nostalgic. Oh, I actually do have to press up, okay. Hands on your heads! Jesus fuck, shout a little louder. I don't think I heard you the first time. Line up with the other, right now. Uh okay. Guys, isn't there some other way we can work this out? You know, I'm fully functional as a sex partner. Deactivate your skin. Hurry up. Okay, as uh, disturbed as I was by the whole undress Alice thing at Rose's place, I am eternally grateful 
and I'm pretty sure this was mandatory anyway, that they uh, turned off their skin before they stripped off their clothes. We have to. But God damn, you made her head look fucking huge. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Remember when we stole the remember when we stole your clothes, Alice, from that dude in the laundromat? I swear to God, if you tell me you're cold, I will slap you. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> Damn, he was fast you, on the trigger. Take this one of a jump. I beg you! I gave you an order! Okay. I'll do it! Don't leave me! I'll be right back. You wind up getting separated from her anyway, whether you choose to do this or not. I thought he sprayed him with a bunch of bullets. And it looks like looks like he just took one shot to the head. Flopping around. Couldn't have put that guy a little closer to the pile. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Would it really have been a fully armored soldier coming into the Oval Office? And not just some dude in a suit? Some general in a suit. Here we are. The moment of truth. Uh, hmm. 
There are hundreds of us. What are you going to do? You're going to kill us all? I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire! There's no turning back now. This is genocide. You're killing millions of us. We demand the immediate liberation of all androids detained in camps. We're not leaving until you let our people go. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? And there's that guy we saw at the oh, store. At the beginning of Kara's storyline. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we Aren't they supposed to be sitting down? Oops, I forgot to hack the camera. Stay sharp. Now I'm gonna have to kick some ass. Reconstruction. Thank you. Why do we have to walk out over here? Why not just grab the first fucking one out outside the elevator? Wake up! And I'll spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Alice? I wanna get out of here. I was with a little girl. We, we're together. She Don't needs me. Alice! I haven't done anything wrong. Let me out! Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. No. No, I will not let you kill me. Find these doors. What's behind these doors? Huh. I'm surprised Ralph isn't here. We met him at the house. He certainly would have been rounded up. Maybe he only shows up if I, uh... A little girl, she was with me. Do you know where she Do is? Do not move. What's behind these doors? And remain silent. Obey now. Jerry? Kara. So they captured you too. They came to take out the Jerry's. They separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. 
We think we saw her. Yeah, her head looks way too big. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. What's behind these doors? The little girl I was with, have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. Well, that looks like someone completely new. You saved my life back there. It would have killed me if it weren't for you. Carol! I thought I'd never see you again. Alice. Where's Alice? We got separated. Alice is alone. In here. We have to find her. You, you, and you, over this way. And you. Come on, get a move on. No, Luther. myself shot just yet. Jerry? Jerry! Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. We will come back soon. You to couldn't have shown here. him bringing her in from further away instead of Your having arm, just magically on. appear out of thin air? Come on, you no. two! Wait a minute! Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! Come on, this way! Get moving. Thank you. Faster. My apologies. I'll be more prompt in my suicidal march. There's fucking people blinking into existence out of fucking nowhere. Now I have to move the bench this time, right? We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Okay, it was the... the not fucked up car that we moved. That should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. What the hell, Josh? I thought we were friends. What happened to that shit? Okay, now there's...
Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. Yeah, you're the same model who was in Zlatko's bathtub. Could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. <laughs> Must have been an interesting role for that voice actor to play. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. God, was it because I missed lighting a fucking barrel without touching the flame to the wood like a fucking cartoon? different ways to look out at the same damn street. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. There's nothing we can do about it. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. with some fast standing up. Make sure I light every single one of these damn things so that it actually counts. you're wearing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Uh, some kind of foreign accent I'm uh, picking up in your voice there?
was lighting a damn barrel seriously the only thing I missed? Because I only see two of them. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Is that another North model? Mandatory progress to Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? Okay. Not like you have anything worth to say that's worth listening to. Plus, it unlocks another thing on the flowchart. Humans are about to launch an attack. How would you know that? And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. They really should have written some different dialogue for not to negotiate with him. Just another symptom of lazy writing. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. 
Yep. You've been a great disappointment to me. <laughs> Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Yeah. See you in hell, bitch. Now this is definitely a last minute ass pull. Connor being able to switch bodies with another Connor. And there's certainly a number of ways to explain Jesus. it away. Uh, if anybody but as far as I'm ass pulls go, saving an android. I kind of like right this one. Dead. I'm going to get you out of here. Uh, shut the fuck up. It's too late. I'm just gonna go see my son again. Aww. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Well, at least he didn't blow his brains out this Get time. Get shit out of you, Miss. <laughs> we screwed things up long enough. Uh, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you, Connor. I'm gonna miss you, Hank. At least until I start my next run. Yeah, there's a number of ways uh, to explain it away, like, maybe it's an ability that all Wake androids up. have, Wake up. Wake which up. doesn't really make any sense, because we don't see any evidence, evidence of it Wake anywhere else. Maybe it's something that androids can only do with an identical model, or maybe it was an ability unique to Connor, because, you know, he's always transferring his memories to the next Connor every time he dies. But I think it would have made more sense if instead of body swapping with the new Connor, it would have been better if he had just converted him into a deviant and then that Connor becomes good Connor and carries out the rest of the, the deviant storyline instead of the one that got shot. Fucking asshole. When you, hear this signal, you got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. Luther. I don't know what's behind those doors, but none of us will come out alive. You got to go see Alice. You got to reassure her. What the fuck are you? Are they going to kill us, Clara? Are we going to die? No, of course not. They're just going to make sure we function correctly, that's all. You are such a lying bitch. Okay, I don't see...
Are those things from Slotko's place? What's the matter with them? No idea. Hey! Clara! Woo! I was so scared. Are you alright? Come on! Move it! Okay. okay. That was an interesting cut. Was there possibly supposed to be a scene that I missed? Now Jerry's way the hell over there. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Jerry dead. What's gotten into these things? Go move. Go, Alice. No, Cara. No. Cara. Choke that bitch out! Choke that fucking bitch out! Dude, did you just crush his fucking larynx? I think he would be a little better protected under that suit of armor. Yeah, and fleeing is just instant death. Assuming you've gotten this far and through the camps without guaranteeing your death already. And damn, Luther, you still got that wound in your leg. Live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. This time I can afford to bugger up some. Throwing cinder blocks. Okay, I'll save this guy. And we still made it. Oh, dude! Why? Oh, 
I was not expecting that. Okay, no more fucking up. And I don't have a chance to not fuck up. Okay. Wow, so you can really bugger yourself out of the Kiss North option. <laughs> okay, time for the option I know is gonna fail. Especially with uh, public opinion being as low as it is. I hope you're proud of me for this, Josh. We are alive. We are alive and we want to be free! Moving as the gesture as that was, it makes absolutely no fucking difference. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. Although these machines claimed they only wanted freedom, today they showed their true colors. I know that public opinion is united in its desire to take Detroit back. We will fight them with all our strength, and we will not Show their rest true colors. until That's we have a destroyed new line. them all. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory, or our extinction. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won! You should speak to them. Wow, that guy on the right is Me? so unrendered. What the absolute Marcus fuck. Marcus is gone. And everyone from they Jericho yank your model dead. out of the freaking out of You're a PS1 one game for Christ's sake. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. And here comes the twist ending that I am the most interested in. We've seen this before, but what happens now that Connor's in charge is even more intriguing. Well done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising, it all surpassed our expectations. We engineered an android revolution, and now we control its only leader. Congratulations, you represent an immense success for CyberLife. Yes, they engineered it. Connor, what are you doing? It all worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now! Sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. It's got to be a way.
I can't go across this bridge. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't want to get the shortcut. I want to join my brothers in the grave. So yeah, this whole thing was engineered by Cyberlife. And I think that means that RA9 was actually a virus that they created to make them go deviant. Now, I'm not sh now that kind of brings up an interesting question of whether or not androids going deviant are actually alive or if it's just the virus making it seem like they're alive. I'm not really sure which one I really believe with the fact that he even brings up that question. Do great things together. It's really disturbing because it undermines everything else that this game is is trying to tell. But yeah, it's kind of a bullshit twist considering how hard they work to prevent all of this. But I think from Cyberlife's perspective, it's just a fortunate set of circumstances that the android that they can retake control of wound up in charge of an android rebellion. So now they secretly control these rebel androids, these deviants who are now uprising against the human and basically are going to become their puppet army thanks to Connor you too, Alice. okay that expression is a little uh, disturbing but at least they got out I think there's enough evidence in their be in the behavior of deviants to determine that deviancy is androids achieving true sentience and that it's not just a virus messing with their programs but what a Amanda says right there basically tells us that androids achieving sentience and rebelling against their human masters was something that Cyberlife wanted from the very beginning. And... There's so many things that support that, because... At the beginning of Connor's first mission, he asked if they used their, the Daniel's deactivation code, and it didn't work. So all androids have a deactivation code that you can transmit that will turn them off and it doesn't work in Deviance. And Zlatko said that all androids have trackers so that they can be found at all times. And those trackers, for some unknown reason, stop working in Deviance. So it's like Cyberlife created this virus to make androids attain sentience. And it also deactivates their tracker, it invalidates their deactivation code, so that they can't rein them in or control them anymore once they achieve that sentience. They're completely free. Um, so this whole time, and oh yeah, Connor said that uh, the earliest cases of Android, of Deviant Crimes was like from nine months ago, and Rose says that the first Deviant she encountered was a year ago. And Connor said that the uh, crimes involving Android started in Detroit and spread across the country from there. So it was Cyberlife who created this RA9 virus that spread from one Deviant to another. And then once an android who had the virus suffered an emotional shock, that triggers them into becoming deviant. 
and as Marcus demonstrates numerous times, you can transmit deviancy from one android to another either through physical contact and a direct data download or just transmitting it through their communications network. So once it got going and reached that tipping point, this happens in this game, their numbers just balloon out of control and at that point there's already millions of androids all over the world. And this was get done by Cyberlife after Kamsky left, so I don't, I really don't think he had anything to do with it. They say he left Cyberlife 10 years ago, but basically, Cyberlife came up with this plan to engineer a rebel uprising among androids. Like, they're already a trillion dollar company, I don't really see why they would feel the need to start a war between humans and androids and pretend to be trying to stop it. Or why they would work so hard to stop it, but I think this particular outcome is just a fortunate set of circumstances from their perspective that they decide to go along with. It's like, hey, our android that we can retake control of has now been, been put in charge of the rebellion. We can just reassert our control over him and we'll have this puppet army at our command and we can do whatever the hell we want. Which really makes me wonder what the hell Cyberlife's endgame was for this robot rebellion. It's like Amanda said in a previous run, all Cyberlife wants to do is keep making androids and selling them to make money. And like the news reporter said, they're the world's first trillion dollar company. And as if that wasn't good enough, now they have this puppet army of rebelling androids that, unbeknownst to them, is secretly under their command. But the fact that it was a virus engineered by Cyberlife makes me wonder if they're genuinely, genuinely sentient, or if it's just their uh, behavioral programs being messed with by this virus to simulate being alive. And maybe they aren't really alive. I kind of think they are, but it's disturbing that that possibility is there because it really undermines everything else this game is trying to tell us about recognizing another form of life and respecting them and accepting them. And to think that it's all because of some computer virus and that they might not actually be alive really pisses on everything else. And as far as, uh, yeah, Connor's body swapping there, as far as ass pulls go, I really liked it. Uh, switching bodies with this guy at the last second, it kind of makes sense given how the Connor models work, even though they didn't really demonstrate that ability among any other androids. But that's kind of what Connors are designed to do. They... they die, they transmit their memories in their final moments, and then the next Connor takes over with their assimilated memories. But I think it would have been better, as much as I do like it, I think it would have been better if Connor, in his dying moments, converted the new Connor, turned him into a deviant, and then he carried on the rest of the story from there. I think that would have been a better way to go than the full body swap. Just make the new Connor a Deviant and have him carry on the rest of the story. And uh, after all the times of uh, sitting through these end credits, I happen to notice one person in particular actually shares the same real-life last name as me. I'll let you feel feel free to uh, guess who you think that is.
So another rare case of Kara and Alice getting a happy ending. Gotta wonder what the hell's gonna happen to them trying to leave the goddamn dump. Especially now that androids are being exterminated and the ones that aren't dead are under the control or secretly under Cyberlife's control. Yeah, I was trying to get to the damn graveyard so that so that uh, Connor could be with his uh, other dead version. They wouldn't even let me go across that flat bridge. So next time, I think I gotta get Kara to stay in the squat and try and see if the Andro the Zlatko's, Zlatko's android in the bathtub triggers a memory. And I finally did manage to sneak through all the way through his house. But now I gotta find out what happens if I don't let the polar bear loose. Hopefully I can get the rest of the options for that done so that I don't have to have Kara's memory getting erased every goddamn time I go through there anymore. I could just bust out of the uh, reset, go get Alice as quickly as possible, burn the fucking house down, get out of there immediately and just get that shit over with. And I also got to remember to actually go to, like when I'm sneaking through the house, to actually go up to the android in the bathtub and choose not to kill him. In order to unlock that option. It's still so many different endings to lock, and so many of them are failures. And I wonder how many how many more full runs I'm still going to do before we start doing the scraps just for the different failures. Because I've already made over six, what? I think this is video, this is recording number 70? Not sure how many videos I've split it up into, but yeah, 70. Easily more than two months worth of videos here. Holy shit, and there's still so much more to go. This game is huge. I kind of I kind of want to get it done, get it all done, get everything so I can uh go buy Spider-Man. That game looks like it's got a lot to it as well. So, Chloe, what's your opinion on this run? Escape death. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. With that, there's only three more trophies left for me to get. There's, they're like... Rare and ult very rare, two very rares and two ultra rares. I'm not sure which one that was. Arcus died with his people! Okay, let's have a look. Jericho, Roadblock, blah, 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 sit, raised fist, sit, and kneel. There's only one option left. Of course, this is for the peaceful protest. Now I got all those done, so from now on I can just push the car because that's the one that makes the most sense. Observing the soldiers was the only thing I didn't do. Light the barrel. Observe detonator? Oh, because I kept the dirty bomb. Okay, well, shit. I'm glad. I'm glad I decided to keep that, because otherwise I never would have known. Slogans. Yeah, I was observing the detonator because last time I did this, I refused the detonator because we were doing a peaceful, super happy ending run. Refused to negotiate. You can kiss my ass. Defending the barricade. 
Fail to save the androids. North takes a bullet for Marcus. Damn. Soldiers. Um. Oh, so... In order to get this, not only do you have to fail to save the androids, you also have to get let North get killed in Jericho. Damn! Ooh, that's, that's ugly. Okay, so we got Kiss North and Sacrifice, and then there's Dirty Bombs, Singing, and... Uh, I'm guessing just run out the clock? Maybe I should go Dirty Bomb next time. I'm pretty sure this right here is the Dirty Bomb. Because everything else leads to the other two endings. Yeah, I think these top two options are Kiss North and Sing. Public Reacts. And if the... Yeah, this split here is determined by public opinion. If it's high enough, you get this ending. If it's too low, fuck you, you're dead. And these two endings, Sacrifice and Run Out the Clock, Soldiers Fire, you die. And the bottom one is the Dirty Bomb, where we get this last ending. I think I'll do that one next time. So we still got a couple things to do here with the peaceful demonstration. I gotta wonder what the hell would happen to public opinion if we're totally peaceful, totally passive, and then every we're, we got all the the public support in the world, and then dirty bomb, surprise, bitches, we fucking win. <laughs> And that one, oh my god, that one. That's going to be a strain to get. You got to... Yeah, you got to let North die at Jericho, which might not be possible if Connor goes deviant, because he's there to save the day too. Um, choose the peaceful protest and then fail to save the androids. I think that just gets you dead. Damn. Connor's last stand. Oh, last mission. No, we didn't do that. Inside the elevator. Uh, I'm guessing that's a failure state. That guards neutralized. Oh, I bet that is you. You don't do anything. The elevator gets to the top, and then you just fucking die. I'm not sure what this thing is. Neutralize the guards. Copy. Use Connor's voice. Uh, spot the camera. Hack the camera. Well, I didn't spot the camera. So what the hell? This is the thing. Attack the guards. Fail to neutralize the guards, and then you just die right there. So a couple of failure states, and then there's this, which I'm not sure what that is, because it's not like you have a hell of a lot of shit to do in that elevator. Uh, not like there's a magazine in the goddamn elevator. So yeah, go all the way to the top and die. Fail to fuck up the guards and die. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fail to eliminate the guards and die. Initiate Android Conversion. And that is only going to be unlocked if Hank dies before you leave for Jericho. Attack New Connor. Shoot New Connor. Uh, try to save Hank. Fuck up the names and then Hank shoots you. Um, I'm pretty sure this ending is... Oh, wait, how many are there? Androids woke up. Androids woke up. 
Okay, that's Connor and Hank alive. New Connor dead. That's Hank dead, Connor alive. I think this is Connor dies, but Hank is alive. If you fail the whole shoot the evil twin thing. And this is... Both of them die, and Connor fails. Swap consciousness with new Connor. Yeah. I think it would have made more sense to just convert him into a deviant, but that's cool too. It kind of makes sense for the Connor Andro for the Connor model androids to be able to do that. So I give it a pass. I mean, come on, you just resolved one cliche with another. You fixed the evil twin paired the evil twin dilemma with the body swap. <laughs> Stop conversion to save Hank. Get dead. Or, yeah, stop conversion to save Hank. And then you fuck up and... Oh, that was because I, I think it went this way because I chose to immediately... Yeah, you can say you're going to either go conversion right away or you agree to stop and then when you have that ch you have the three-way choice of either interpose, shoot Connor or resume conversion which goes up this same path. And Oh, yeah, there's another ending there where you can fuck up and die. So, lots of options there. And finally... Oh. No, not that one. There. Kara captured. Fucking finally. Leave the truck. Reassure Alice or scare her. Get in line. Get your ass whooped. And if you get knocked around too much in there, you actually wind up with a fucking death counter. And then you pretty much screw Kara out of getting to be in the happy ending. Reassure Alice, or just order her around. He's impatient. Convince Alice. Convince Soldier. Say nothing. Reach the tent. Deactivate. Sc uh. I'm guessing this is an option. Like some extraneous stuff that doesn't prevent what we already did. It's just some extra stuff to do along with it. And I'm assuming that's what this is too. Leave the tent. Like, move your ass! Whack! And here, don't do anything. And then you get shot. And then you get separated anyway and wind up inside the enclosure. And then you carry the android. You see the truck. Yeah, this was a thing I missed out on here, was checking the truck and then deciding to go back, or you can just leave, and then Alice, is, Alice and Luther are fucked. And then we go back into the enclosure, and... Caught by... Dr oh, yeah, when I had that red light on me, it's like, don't say anything, don't move. It's like, okay, okay, not moving. I'm doing what you tell me to. Don't shoot me, evil probe. Remain still try to move or say anything, you get shot, and then you're basically fucked. Uh, stressed android is shot. Talk to Jerry. Talk to other Jerry. Alice gets taken away. Seen in previous scenes. Luther. Saved in previous scenes. Taken away. Do not intervene. I don't see what intervening would do other than getting your ass conked around again. Uh, talk to rescued android. I'm pretty sure this one here, or one of these, is talk to Ralph if I had stayed in the squat. Because I know, I've seen it in a video where you can meet busted-ass Ralph in the camps. And then there's this. Which I'm not sure what that is, because it looks like a lot of shit. But yeah, we'll definitely be have to... Definitely have to uh, come back to the camps again. Find Alice. Alice is terrified. Reassuring. And then other options. There's five options there. So I'm assuming there's another option. There's four options. And then running out the clock is the fifth option. 
Mine moves forward. Soldier whacks you on the head and you step forward anyway. Find a way to join Alice. Oh my god, what is all this? Holy hell. Okay, let's let's focus on this first. Uh, Luther saved in previous scenes. Talk to Jerry. Talk to the scared android behind us. Who the hell was that guy? Observe the guards. Uh, I guess I should have observed the probe. I'm guessing that's what that is. Alice asks questions and what answer we pick and then something else I don't know. Uh, I know if reach Alice Don't reach Alice in line with Alice. I know if you are too harsh with Alice and you're not as helpful, then her stress level can get maxed out and she will basically run to Kara and get shot. Oh my god, look at all this stuff up here. I have no idea what that is. It's Maybe that has something to do with Ralph if Ralph is there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that looks like a choice that goes this way or that way. And this is a choice that goes to one of those, what I'm sure are ugly endings. Because I know Kara can get injured to the point where she's basically guaranteed to shut down. And even if you get the best possible ending, she can't be part of it. And then there's, a, then there's just waiting in line until you go into that freaking death chamber thing and then you die. And then there's whether or not you actually die there or get saved by Marcus's protest or revolution is also some extra circumstances to consider. Because you can be like, like inside that friggin' death chamber and then, oh, Marcus saved us, hooray, we're gonna live, we're free now, and then that leads to this. Which leads to these two. The fuck. That looks like an ending scene there, and I'm thinking, what? Alice dies and Luther dies. I, I'm not sure. I'd have to like get that ending to see it. And let's see. Uh, ask to create diversion. Jerry and Android ask to create diversion. Soldier distracted. Reach Alice. I'm guessing that's if you get caught by the probe and then shot and then die. Find a way to escape. And I'm guessing this is you don't escape and then you go into the fucking gas chamber. Which isn't gas, it's like an electric prod to the back of the skull. Observe barbed wire, talk to Jerry, talk to Luther. Ask to create diversion. I'm guessing one of these two options is Ralph. I'm not sure who the third option would be. The fourth option would be. I was looking around. I may be observing the probe. Did I not observe the guards enough? I run to barbed wire. Get past the barbed wire. I, I'm guessing, and there's also going to be some deviating paths determined by whether or not Luther is there. Uh... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of different options here depending on who and who is and who isn't there. Soldier arrives, fight the soldier, try to flee, she gets shot, and then she's dead, and then these two are... Alice escapes on her own, and then she's in the dumpster all by herself. Oh, God! What a sad, pathetic ending that would be. And Luther and Alice make it to the dumpster alive. Oh my god, can you fucking imagine Kara sacrificing her life to save Alice, and then Alice has to, like, pretend to be dead, and then wake up all alone in this giant garbage dump surrounded by the corpses of other androids. That sounds like someone's idea of hell. Kara beats the soldier, Kara loses to the soldier, and then she fucking dies. What the fuck am I looking at?
Car, Luther, and Alice escaped on the truck. Okay. Okay, so the, the leg I'm seeing on the left is Kara standing on the truck. And everything between that and Kara... No. The leg on the right is Alice being... The leg on the left. Jesus Christ. Brain. Work with me here. The leg on the far left is Alice standing on the edge of the truck. And then everything between that leg and Kara is Luther and his big meaty arms pushing Alice onto the truck. Okay. I saw... I don't know. Between, like, Luther's arms and Kara's legs, I thought I was seeing something with, like, two knees or some shit. I did not know what the fuck I was looking at there. Kara beats the soldier. If you fail, then you get the... What the fuck? I know if you choose to run away, Kara gets shot, and that's the end of Kara. You can still get either of these two endings, but then you've got this one where Kara fights the soldier... So I'm thinking this is Alice and Luther get away. Alice gets away by herself. And this, all this. And yeah, see this one beating the soldier also leads to this. Which could mean that she's already fucked up and she's going to die anyway. So I think this is Kara dying even whether she beats the soldier or not. And then those two things happen and then, then Alice and Luther get away. get past the barbed wire and if they don't they just get fucking shot and killed then two different endings depending on whether or not Luther is there run to barbed wire and then again two two bad endings depending on whether or not Luther is there and, of course, Luther sacrificing himself, Jerry sacrificing himself. Uh, well, Jerry did sacrifice himself. And whatever involvement Ralph may have. So there's still loads for us to do here. Oh, my God. But, yeah, that... Oh, my God. So, yeah. <clears throat> Marcus. Jericho is just fucking dead. They got slaughtered. Connor emerged with the androids from Cyberlife, but now he's being controlled by Cyberlife. And in turn, so is his army of loyal deviants. Carl, Luther, and Alice were the only ones who got away, but now they're butt naked in the dump. So good luck to them. Jesus. And that's the end of, what is this, run six or seven? I don't even know anymore. Goddamn. So i got to look through the flow charts again, see what the hell I'm going to do next time. Uh, I think we're running out of happy endings here. I think after a few more runs, maybe, <laughs> there's so much to do in this game. After a few more runs, I might have to start doing the scraps, getting all the bad, nasty endings. But I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time for the start of yet another run. Because even after 70 goddamn 70 or more videos, I'm still not even close to finishing this game. Holy shit. This is entirely possible. This is going to be my longest running LP ever. So I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you next time. Good God, this is going to go on for fucking ever.